I raised my hand to the plexiglass, and Saidu did the same. I don't want to go back anywhere, he said. I want to stay in this country. I want to be in America and work. I applied for asylum, but it wasn't given. Now they will return me to my port of entry, which is Lisbon. When I got up to leave, he remained seated and said, Come back and visit me if I am not deported. I said that I would, but never did. I told the story to Nadej on our way back into Manhattan that day. Perhaps she fell in love with the idea of myself that I presented in that story. I was the listener, the compassionate African who paid attention to the details of someone else's life and struggle. I had fallen in love with that idea myself.